Ja, hello. Good day. Um, let's see if I can find myself. It's always easier to talk to one another when we just, when I can read the comments. And yeah, here I am. Yeah, hello. <laughs> I'm here. Good. Yeah, so, uh, I had to hurry a bit, but I'm here. <laughs> Uh, my my dishwasher broke down, so I had to do a lot of dishes and uh, clean everything, and then just put everything on the table again for the live. Uh, let's see um, how this works. Yeah, this should be okay for the live. Welcome. <laughs> I've got nice things on my desk. Oh, Sandra, a wet England. No, oh, it will be a wet uh, Netherlands tomorrow, but today it was dry. Hello. Um, welcome and well, let's just have some crafting fun, right? Yeah, Belinda, it broke dishwasher. It really first it was my car, uh, then it was the refrigerator, then it was the microwave, and now it's a dishwasher, and all in a week and a half. So I'm not very happy. <laughs> it's okay. Good. The new uh, flower collection it's really really great and i have die cut it a lot today let me see and now you can see what i'm going to make i'm going to make a gift bag with the new flower collection and i have die cut it a lot and i'm looking for this one look at that how cute is that and of course the bucket is really really great um I made these already. Yeah, Anki, that's true. <laughs> Comes in <straight> triple. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Um, but this is the birdhouse and the bucket. It's really, 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 really cute. I want to use that today. And the bucket is open on top. So you can just put something inside. And it's also open in between um, yeah, the, the wood, so to speak. So it kind of emphasizes uh, the bucket uh, stripe. I love this, this the wood look. Um, this time I did not use mixed media for, for, for anything yet. Uh, I just used several kinds of design papers and cardstock. Um, just to show you that you don't always have to use ink or whatever to make flowers. You can just use whatever you have in cardstock or design paper. And if you um, just die cut s several parts of design paper, this is a bit of an autumn design paper, then the effect is really nice. You don't really have to use anything mixed media for this. You can just use it. We are going to make the flowers. Um, I haven't used these before, but they look great. So just let's, let's just use them. And um, I have to die cut a bit, a few more of these, I think. But let's see, I have all the leaves, um, loads of leaves with details on them. Really, really cute details. The branches are great. Um, well, you, you can see I've got just about everything is die cut it to work with. <laughs> yeah, share, comment and like. Yeah, you might win a gift certificate. Else will announce the winner on Mondays. Yeah, hi, hi, hi. Welcome. Um, I'm going to start. So this is uh, not done yet because I still have to assemble the flowers. But I'm going to prep the gift bag first. I love making gift bags like this. Just, just a basic craft gift bag. It's nothing special. Uh, but you can really uh, make something beautiful out of it and uh, give a gift with it. And I thought, why not? This is a very simple. You can... Um, yeah, I am going to do mixed media, but on here, not on there. <laughs> So on here, <laughs> on the on the craft uh, gift bag, this is just a standard gift bag. And I'm kind of assuming you can get them in any hobby shop. Because, well, 
at least in the Netherlands, but I don't think it's just the Netherlands. And you can get them in all kinds of sizes. This is kind of an average size and um, it fits um, exactly what I want for uh, the gift. So it, fit the, it fits the gift. So yeah. Yeah, it's yeah, it's it's always comes in handy, and I'm going to make an autumn or fall or what do you say, autumn or fall? And I I got taught autumn in school, uh, but maybe that's an American and English difference thing. I don't know, but okay, it's going to be a gift bag for this season. Maybe that's better. And for that, I am going to use mixed media. And I am starting off with stamps. Good evening, or good day, or good morning. <laughs> oh, it's either autumn or fall. Okay. Um, I have some stamps here, background stamps. This is from um, uh, Annette's collection. And this is from the Art Journal Specials from David. So they are both uh, great background stamps. I kind of, all, I use these a lot, this one a lot. So I'm going to get that one. And okay, good to know that fall and autumn is both okay. Yeah, you can reuse the bags. Yeah, definitely. You could just add uh, paint or whatever and cover up what you don't want to see and alter it. It's really very fun to do. Um, going to use this one as well. So let's start with this one. This is just a first step. I often use washi tapes or stamps to use a background like this. Yeah, it's mix and match. Yeah, but I think Elizabeth Craft Designs, um, well, has a lot of collections, but a lot of collections that can really be used. And um, I'm not using anything and I know that um, I'm not using acrylics or block or something for my background. I don't want it to be perfect. It's a background and I will cover a lot of it. And you will only see parts of it. And I know that I'm um, doing something that a lot of people find very scary. But maybe that's why I'm showing uh, you that it's not scary at all. It's actually fun to do <laughs> because it kind of gives you a creative, um, well, freedom. Yeah, mixed media is so much fun to do. Um, it really, really is fun to do. I love using all kinds of mediums. Well, that of course is mixed media. <laughs> Use uh, stems and paint and stencils and all kinds of paste. And I actually like crackle paste a lot. I'm out of crackle paste. I really have to buy a new one. This is just a part of it. I'm going to use a net, uh, well, very small letter stamp. And again, I'm not using anything. I'm not using uh, anything at all to make sure that the stamp stamps great. Because uh, again, I do not need it to stamp perfect at all. So that's it for now. If I want more, then I will add more later on. Hello, Angelica. That's the designer of all the pretty things lying here. I'm going to make uh, a gift bag today, Angelica. With the new collection, of course. It really, really is great. Oh, a first of all, Claire can be reinked. Very easily, I must say. Okay, next step. I just grabbed one of the stencils from the Planner Essentials. Um, I kind of use this one a lot. <laughs> I think I really like it. And I have a paste here. Um, 
Modeling paste is something that can be found anywhere in the world and it can be found in many, many colors. This happens to be a green color. It's from Cadence, it's called Cadence, but you can use any brand. You can really um, just choose what you want because there are loads and loads of pastes in loads and loads of colors. And I thought this would be a great color, a green for the awesome project. So, and this is a bit of a bigger stencil. So, uh, well, that's, that's a good thing in this case, because I need it to be a bit bigger. And now again, not perfect. But I am going to use, oh, this is a very thick paste. I didn't realize that, but that's okay. And again, you won't see everything when I'm done from the background. But if you don't do it, you will miss it. You're like, okay, what exactly am I missing on, on this project? Yeah, it's a scrapey sound. <laughs> it really, really is. Um, but it's a very thick, a bit of a stone paste, I think. I think it's the second time I'm using it. Didn't use it a lot yet. So, let's see what we've got. Oh, pretty. I'm done. That goes into the water. Yeah, it's very pretty. It's a thick paste. I didn't realize that, but it's okay. So, my background is coming together. If you want to get rid of a logo or something that uh, if you want to reuse it back for example and there's a logo on there you might want to use the white gesso first and use paints on top of it i will show you in the next slide because it's really fun to do and cover up and reuse uh, something and i'm looking for um my baby wipes which are of course not in my neighborhood when i need them okay i will just do it like this i'm going to make a noise i'm going to use my heat tool And I'm just going to dry this. And now you see why I stamped first. Because you will see the details of the stamps on the background. And if you stamp now, it will not be as nice as it is now. It's always uh, better to start with the stamping. Yeah, it's, it's just a green, I don't know how they call it, but it's just a green paste. And Malahit, Malahit, it's a Turkish word. I think it's a Turkish brand. But you have paste in a lot of colors from a lot of brands. I actually had to throw away a few pastes. It became very hard. <laughs> okay, it's done already. It's a dry fasting paste. There we go. So that's it for now. This is the start of my gift bag. Just a bit of stamping and a bit of stenciling. And we are just going to put that there. Then of course my flowers. I have to assemble the flowers. It's always very fun to do. And I'm using a basic set to do that. Nothing really very special. Just going to light this here because I need to find my flowers. <laughs> I really die cut it a lot. But 
that's part of the fun. Yeah, it's a bit of an artwork, right? Then see, it's really fun to do. And I actually don't know if I'm going to use this yet. I might because I really love it on the craft paper. It kind of give it, gives it a rustic look. I'll decide later. And I am going to make a loads and loads of more cards with the flowers. So if I have some extra here, it really doesn't matter. Don't know if I'm going to use the birdhouse. We will see. Flowers. Okay, so I'm going to make a mess again. Don't know if you, if you have seen my lives before. It's always a mess around me, on the floor, on the table. There are things everywhere. But if I don't see it, I forget to use it. So I have to have it displayed around me so that I can just uh, use it whenever I need it. This is also very pretty, but it's all pretty. And it's, it's, um, I thought this was most very nice as well. This one too. Love to work with these because it's just easy to use behind any kind of project. Okay, let's start somewhere. Of course, with these dice, um, you can actually, let's see which ones um, belong together. You can actually do a few things with these. Why do I have this one double? Oh, that belongs to this project. Okay, good. I think I have that. Yeah, it's all autumn colors. It's green, orange, red, pinky red. Okay, this one can be glued together. And I'm going to do that with one of them. And you kind of have a very round flower. But before I do that, I'm going to use my biggest tool. On the back of the flower and distress the paper and again this is just basic design paper nothing nothing special And if you do want to color yourself, I mean you can, then uh, I think the soft finish cardstock from Elizabeth Craft Designs is great to use for flowers. I'm going to distress more. I wanted uh, to have a bit of a distressed look. Okay, you can do a couple of things. You can just use it as is, glue it all together, and use it on your project. No problem at all. You can also use a bit of glue. Yeah, uh, me too. I really love all the. I really love the autumn colors. I don't. I, I. I think I told this once before. I don't like autumn at all with the wind and the rain and the changing of the season because um, I'm kind of a. Uh, spring girl and summer girl myself but i really love the autumn colors also for my clothes So, I'm going to do the next, and uh, let's just do it all at once, right away. There we go. Oh. It does need a little bit time to stick, Rihanna. And then it's almost uh, October already. I mean, like, it's the 20th, I think, today already. Time flies. We are already starting to think about Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> 
what to do with Christmas and where are we going? You know, those kind of questions pop up already. But first, my husband turned 50 last Monday and next Saturday he will throw a big party uh, with, uh, with catering, with food and everything on it. So let's do that first. And then I'm going to think about the Dutch uh, retreats because that's next week. So I've got two very busy weekends ahead, but fun weekends, definitely fun weekends. You already have Christmas gifts, Vicky. <laughs> really? Yeah, uh, my mother used to do that too. She started in the summer. It's actually very smart because you don't have much stress if you start in time, right? Thank you. Yeah, he had a bit of a problem with turning 50, <laughs> but it's kind of landed and... Um, He's like, well, 50 is the new 40, so okay, <laughs> moving on. <laughs> but I knew um, a whole group of his friends were coming on Monday morning because his birthday was actually Monday. And they came at six o'clock in the morning and they woke him up and uh, with music and singing and all kinds of things. So I was making coffee at six o'clock in the morning for everybody. <laughs> I'm like, oh God, <laughs> that's early. But uh, yeah, it was really fun. <laughs> Youngsters. <laughs> so yeah, we had a very early day uh, on Monday. Also because um, we have a fire alarm and it went off at a quarter past five in the morning. And so we were up quite early and it was false alarm. And uh, 45 minutes later, all the friends were outside and uh, it was really good. Very sweet of everybody uh, to come because some had to drive almost an hour to get here. And they were here for about uh, 40 minutes and then they had to go home again because everybody had to go to work. It was really, really sweet. Real friends, right? Oh, 14, not an important age. Oh, I didn't have any problem. Okay, so this is one opportunity with this die. You just glue everything together. You get a very pretty round flower. And I can actually use this flower on the gift bag. You can't use this in a planner, but you can use it on a card or on the gift bag. Because, yeah, well, it doesn't really matter uh, if it's a bit bigger. Yeah, he has great friends. And they have, uh, is he listening? They have another surprise for him next Saturday when the party is. So, yeah, let's see how that is going to work out. Yeah, the release is really, really great. Pretty flowers, the buckets, the bird house, well, just about everything, the branches. And of course, there's also a, a Christmas set. Uh, I'm not using it today, but I'm definitely going to make a, a card with it. Um, I've got a great idea already. I didn't have time yet to make that. But once it's in my head, um, I need some time to uh, make it <laughs> somehow. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm again distressing my flowers. This is actually the easiest technique there is, right? Distress it on the back of the flower and then go back and do this in the middle and it pops up. Yeah, oh yeah, we have the dot stamps. I will show you. I almost forgot because it's, it's on the bottom of everything. These are the, these are the stamps and I am um, actually going to use them on uh, these two flowers and I might even use them on the smaller ones. Uh, the dots and the stripes, it's actually the heart uh, of, the, of the flowers. And there's also a text stamp, and I'm sure you have seen it already. It's a bit difficult to see, I think. But it says, hello, autumn, falling leaves, and, and happy fall, and autumn uh, greetings. But also give thanks, happy Thanksgiving, blessings, and, of course, the Merry Christmas, Noel, season's greetings, be merry, joy. Uh, well, 
it's a kind of a mix of all kind of text that you are kind of using a lot. It's really pretty. And I'm actually using them in combination with uh, Annette's uh, label, uh, layered label stamps and dies. Um, I'm kind of missing something, I think. When I do this, I have to always think, okay, what am I doing? I miss one of them because I know for sure that three or this one. Okay, this one. Yeah, I'm not missing any of them. Yeah, those layered um, labels in combination with the stems and the sentiments are just something. It's just timeless. You can use it for years and years to come, you know. You don't really have to think about it. You always have something in the house and it's all in one. Uh, well, the texts are all in one stem set. And uh, I think the labels are timeless as well and can be used with this collection perfectly. Okay, I have these as well. These are um, die cuttings. You also have them. It's like the, the dots thingy. You also have them in a stamp. You can actually use them on the stamp as well, but you can also use them here. Um, I'll do that in a minute. Let's see. And I can do this with glue. I do not need my glue gun for assembling the flowers. Of course, you can use it if you want to. Nobody is saying that you can't use it. Uh, but yeah. Yeah, Joe, absolutely. You can just combine anything. And I must say, I always, uh, I also use things from every collection in my art journal or in my planner. I just combine everything. Okay. There we go. How do I want this? So I'm going to use the circle as well. Ooh. And the next one. Zoo. This is just a matter of assembling, right? Don't overthink it. And you can do it in several ways. Do it the way you want to. So, three flowers done. Up to the next, up to the next. And there we go. Then I need a bit of a background because I am going to use 
the stamps. going to do that with black and let's see which one I want to use I think this one will be fun to use there we go and then there's this one Perfect. I thought this was a great idea. When I saw the stamp, I was like, why didn't I see that before? Great idea. Oh, shifting again. <laughs> Let's see how I want these to combine. I think this will be okay. Yeah. Um. And now, actually, not going to uh, glue them that way. I'm going to do it a bit differently, and I'm doing it the wrong way around because I am going to do this from the front. Yeah, those centers, those really, really cute. And I think it's a great idea to use a stamp. So again, I'm just going to assemble these. There we go. It's very difficult not to make a pretty flower with this collection. It's really pretty to use and very easy to use, I must say. And you can do all kinds of things with them. I mean, yeah, you can make very realistic flowers with it. Sure. I sometimes do that too. Not today. And there we are, done with the flowers. And time flies. Good. I'm going to try to assemble everything. And let's see what we are going to do. What's nice, what do we want? I'm going to glue this on top because I'm I'm not liking the center of this flower. That's better. Yeah, it is definitely going to work with the frames as well, uh, Belinda. I have made a lot of uh, flower projects with the frames. It's always pretty. Well, at least I think it's always pretty. Okay, I'm going to um, see what I want to do. This is what I always do, right? I'm just going to check what uh, I want to do with this. What's pretty? And of course, I want to use the opening to put the flowers in. And I'm forgetting to leaves. breaking it's not good I'm 
this is just to see what exactly ones I want to use and where do I want to use it. And so I'm kind of distressing the uh, leaves as well. Uh, the papers is just um, a, a sort of uh, a cardstock, um, simple green and red and autumn colors and the, the ochre yellow uh, cardstock. The easiest one I could find. And I had some leftovers from a uh, paper pad, um, I think also with autumn colors. I don't know exactly. I think it's from Crafts O'Clock or something. It just it's just made out of scraps because I didn't have a lot anymore. So I thought, okay, I would just use some scraps because they have the pretty autumn colors in there. So. Yeah, the Wanderlust paper will work great too. Sure. Let's see. Do I want the bucket? I think so, yeah. Do you want this? I don't think so. Yeah, I think it's going to be something uh, like that. And then, of course, I need something um, on here, like a label, like one of the labels we were just uh, talking about. Yeah, okay, let's do that. I'm going to do something extra. A few things extra. First of all, I'm going to use this. Sisal, we call it in Dutch. I think you ooh, I think you call it the same. That's not what I wanted to do. It kind of just adds some interest to the project. Yeah, Christmas as well, Margaret, definitely. You can use um, the same idea for Christmas. Yeah, thank you. Is this all uh, hard to find? Yeah, it's in the garden centers, for example. Or the dollar store has it a lot too here. But you don't have to use the sisal because if you go to a garden center, there is, well, at least in our country, but I think it's the same everywhere. There is a, a department normally where uh, you can find things to make um, smaller arrangements with plants and flowers at home. And uh, in that department, you can find all kinds, not exactly this, but you also have a sort of a green uh, moss or something and you can just use that as well. I often go to the garden center for things like this. Hello. Yeah, winter colors are great too, Sylvia. Definitely. I'm going to have to get a vacuum cleaner again when I'm done. Yeah, you can use something like this um, and just create your own ideas and do what you want to do with it. There we go. Um, 
and I'm going to use foam, foam pads, because I want the bucket to come up a little. This is the back. <laughs> it's not so uh, pretty, but it will work. Yeah. And I don't want the bucket to be flat on uh, the gift bag or the cart or whatever. Because if I, want, if I want to stick something behind it, I can do it when I uh, use the foam pads. Oh, I see great ideas coming. Uh, uh, I'm always happy to see that we help one another with all kinds of fun ideas. I always add a bit of glue extra. Just a little bit. There we go. Okay, there's uh, sea salt everywhere. <laughs> really everywhere. And then I'm going to do the same with the leaves. I'm not going to do it with everything. Just a couple of items. I have to cut these in half. And there we go. Ah, oh, thanks, Linda. That's sweet. Oh, you can find the file folders everywhere. We have to order them, order them online. You can't find them everywhere. I looked. But then again, I have the file folders from Esther and from David. So I just die cut them. Now, one more with this, and then I'm going to work flat again. Yeah, you can use them for bird nests too. But also on these kinds of projects, the sea cell. Just adds a bit more well, interest, I think. No, thanks, Anita. You're a sweetheart. Anita created great, great uh, tags. I think I've seen a lot of tags from you, right, Anita, with this collection? Really pretty. She has shown a few already. Oh, yeah. Take off that. Protection. There we go. And don't be afraid with these kind of projects because it will always work out because you can go back and you can add things and yeah, you can make it as pretty or, or as detailed or as real or not as you like. There 
Okay. Yeah, I'm going to distress the leaves as well. Um, where's my other one? Oh, yeah. You can't find it, Marga. Do you want some? I'm picking you up next week. I can take some. Oh, I'm, I'm going quiet because that's why <laughs> I am trying to work fast. Yeah, sure, Mark, no problem. I will keep some aside for you, and when I pick you up, then remind me because otherwise I might forget. But I will try to do it after the live right away. Yep, inside. Yeah, that's where I want you. Inside. I'm going to do the flowers first. And then I'm going to add the branches and everything. Yeah, Margaret, uh, yesterday, right? Or yeah, yesterday, because it's Wednesday. There we go. Ah, thanks, Linda. And let's see, how do I want this? Thanks, Jean. Yeah, it's uh, okay. Thanks, Karen. Yeah, I really love doing projects uh, like these. I can do this for hours. <laughs> I won't bother you for hours, but I can do this for hours. I, you can also combine it with the awesome items from Annette's last collection, the Splendid Season one. The mushrooms, for example, fit great. Oh, thanks, Belinda. It's so much fun to do. I just love doing this. Yep. There we go. Yeah, it's coming along just fine. I need a green leaf right here. I have to be careful because I broke one. Two. Good. Yeah. Exactly how I wanted it to be. And uh, let's see which one do I want here. Too many choices. Let's do this one. Where is it? There we go. Yeah. No. Yeah, 
it's pretty. Yeah, you can't go wrong with this, something like this, right? You just die cut it and arrange it the way you want to, and it kind of naturally becomes pretty. Thinks this will be too much. I just want, and I'm not afraid to tear things up. They only want you to use a part of it. I'm only using a part of it. There we go. Yeah, and absolutely. <laughs> yeah, the, the gift back is the gift, yeah. yeah. It would be a shame if they just throw it away, right? <laughs> Hopefully it will be reused or something. Um, difficult to see because I'm, you are guys are on top of the project. I'm not. But I think I'm kind of there for this part. At least I think I am. Yeah, I think I'm, I'm there. Good. Then. It's a bit of a mess. <laughs> Loads of sisal everywhere. Uh, go away. So, okay. Good. I'm going to stamp again. Why? Well, because I want uh, the autumn stamps to be on there. So happy fall, uh, falling leaves. Um, I already told you, hello autumn. And now I am going to use my acrylic block because I do want this one to be red. Okay. And I'm doing this now and not at the beginning because now I can see exactly which part you will see and which part you won't see. Uh, one more on top. There we go. And then another one. I think falling leaves. There we go. And let's do one here. here and um, no not there okay yeah you can I can use the um, uh, bird house. If I just make it a bit smaller, I can use it right there. And I can add the birds. Definitely possible. You tell me, sh should I use it on this project? I will just wait. Uh, 
And last but not least, I am re uh, I'm again using the, the, the stamp from um, Annette's collection to add a bit more stamping. I think we're done. Okay, I should stop. Otherwise I will still be doing this in 15 minutes. So, okay, ready is ready. Let's clean the stamp, put this aside. Did you all say yes? Yeah, we just have to use it, I think. Why not? Let's do that. And it might be better because there's kind of something missing up there. Uh, with projects like these, I just step away for five minutes and then come back or something. And then uh, I always add, uh, some, add something because uh, when you're in the project, it's sometimes difficult to see uh, what to add or not to add. Yeah, there we go. Okay, I will add the, the, the birds later. Good, <laughs> yes, Margaret. <laughs> it's definitely a nice focal point, good idea. I appreciate the help. So we're not seeing a lot of the seesaw, but that's Quite all right. It's enough. It's more than enough. And I also have these. These are a little uh, clay stones, so to speak. And I thought it would be nice to use them. But if I look at the project, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to leave it as is. Might add this one though, but okay. Yeah. My gift bag. <laughs> um, yeah, this is it. I'm going to add a text when I actually have the gifts and I will just place it here or here. Uh, add a label uh, with maybe for a birthday, congratulations or a thank you or well, let's see what to do with it. Um, I want to thank you for watching and I hope to see you in next time. Thank you. Bye bye.